Hello friends. Today in this video lecture I will be talking about inductive effect, one of the most important topic in organic chemistry. Previously I discussed the resonance effect. So inductive effect and resonance effect both are related to each other but they are slightly different. Inductive effect operate through the bonds, resonance effect operate through lone pairs or through delocalization. So that's a big difference between these two. An inductor effect is closely related to electronegativity. So you can correlate between electronegativity and inductive effect as such. Like more the electronegative element, higher will be the inductive effect. So let's discuss the definition of inductive effect first and then we discuss the difference between resonance and the in inductive effect and we will see the examples of inductive effect as well. So before doing that, let me tell you why inductive effect is important this helps you to understand the chemical reactivity of organic compounds number two inductive effect helps you to understand the acidity and basicity of organic molecules such as which compound is more acidic or which compound is more uh, which, which compound is more basic so you can predict by using inductive effect concept and also it helps you to understand the reactivity of aromatic systems in particular the benzene and it also directs you to the find out which will be the ortho or para directing group or which will be a meta directing group or it helps you to understand the reactivity around the benzene like will this benzene behave as a nucleophilic or will this benzene is electrophilic or what kind of inductive effect is operated on benzene and the inductive effect does compete with resonance but resonance effect is much higher in magnitude so we if resonance effect always wins when we have a competition between inductive effect and resonance so this was intro about this topic let's go deep into this topic all right inductive effect stems from the electronegativity like takes birth from electronegativity of the atoms in substituent and the polarizability of the substituent group like more electronegative atoms more than carbon like nitrogen oxygen or any pull electron density away from carbon and thus exhibit an electron withdrawing inductive effect so for example if we see that in these two examples both have benzene and this one has methyl group and this one has nh2 group in my previous video i told you that this nh2 group is an electron donating group that was correct. Here I am telling you that this NH2 group is electron withdrawing. So don't you think this is contradictory? Absolutely not. It's not contradictory. So NH2 group is electron withdrawing because of negative inductive effect. And NH2 group is electron donating because of resonance effect. So don't mix two things together. All right why this nh2 is behaving as electron withdrawing effect because the nitrogen has higher electronegativity than the carbon that's why it pulls electron density away from the benzene ring if you look at this example where methyl is connected with the benzene that's a toluene so now this is donating ele uh, electrons towards the benzene ring via positive inductive effect that's why we call methyl groups as or any alkyl group as electron donating they possess electron donating inductive effects all right let's have a look at the examples of inductive effect like i have made this uh, these four examples the carbon chain remains same there is no issue of carbon chain but only thing that is changes is a halogen group so which one is going to be a negative inductive effect uh, all of them it has a negative indef inductive effect Fluorine one is the maximum electron withdrawing showing the negative inductive effect. All right. And iodine one is the least electron withdrawing inductive effect. So as you go into the periodic table, the highest electronegative element show most strong withdrawing capability in inductive effect. Let's summarize the positive and negative inductive effect groups. So positive inductive effect showing groups are alkyl, methyl, ethyl, trialkyl, slyl but there are this one is plus or minus one that is operating through the inductive effect but electron withdrawing like NH2, OH, SH, NR2, OR, SR these were previously electron donating groups because of resonance but as I mentioned earlier 
These are electron with drying groups because of their electronegativity difference between carbon and these. These groups have higher electronegativity than carbon. That's why they are electron with drying groups. Amide group, ester group, aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid, nitrile, sulfonic acid, nitro group, and sulfonic acid group. These are all electron with drying groups by the inductive effect. When you have a situation where one group can act as a resonance or and also can act as a uh, inductive effect. So we will consider the resonance effect as more powerful than the inductive effect. So have a look at this example of phenol where this OH group shows electron with drying inductive effect via negative inductive effect. But at the same time this oxygen is showing the resonance effect that is donating through the resonance. So it donates electron density towards benzene ring and puts the negative charge on the ortho position. Hence OH group simultaneously acts as an electron donating group via resonance and electron withdrawing group via inductive effect. So let's uh, summarize the difference between inductive and resonance effect. So inductive effect is an effect that occurs due to transmission of electrical charge throughout a chain of atoms and resonance effect is an effect on stability of molecules with both single and double bonds. Why inductive effect happens? What is the cause of it? Occurs due to polarization of bond like dipole moment or a difference in electronegativity. Why resonance effect occurs? Due to the presence of single and double bonds in an alternating pattern like in a conjugation manner. So factors, electronegativity values of atoms in a molecule affect the inductive effect. As I mentioned, higher the electronegativity, negative will be the inductive effect. Lower the electronegativity, positive will be the inductive effect. And the factor number of double bonds and pattern of their position affect the resonance. I hope you understood the concept of inductive effect. Quickly revising inductive effect is closely related to electronegativity and inductive effect has two types negative inductive effect and positive inductive effect. Negative inductive effect is showing the electron withdrawing inductive effect and a positive inductive effect shows the electron donating inductive effect and this operates through the polarizability of molecules. I hope you understood the topic. If you haven't, please put the comments below in this video. I will try to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel.